If you are wanting to know the easiest, fastest ways to send a care package to a service member, then this video is for you. My name is Michelle Buller. Welcome to the Waiting Warriors channel, where I share all things military spouse life and tips and resources for you. Let's get into the best tips and tricks for a military care package. The first tip, especially for the military spouses, if you are like me while your service member is gone, my head goes crazy. So the sponsor of this video, C2C with Love, actually has a whole planning page that you can get, and I will put the link on the description of this video. It just goes over what you want your theme to be, when you're gonna send it, all of the things if you're gonna have your kids put something in. So just planning your care package is the best way to go about it. The second thing you're gonna need is get their mailing address. Now, if you're related, if you're a direct relative, then you can reach out to their chain of command or hopefully they've already sent you their mailing address. If you are not related and you're just wanting to send some care packages to soldiers, I advise you to reach out to a local veterans group. It's very often multiple times throughout the year, especially during the holidays, that they will look for donations and volunteers. So reach out and find them. The third thing you need to figure out with a care package is boxes. Now with this, you wanna think about if it's heavy or light. If it's gonna be a heavy box, then the post office priority boxes are gonna be your best bet because it is a flat rate. And if even if they're overseas, if you have an APO address, it's still domestic prices. If it's super light, then maybe look on the post office is website and see if it's worth it to just use like an Amazon box or something that you already have. The good news is, is that the post office has what they call military care package kits. And it comes with the custom papers, boxes and tape and it's all for free you actually can even order them online and they will deliver them with your next mail which is super awesome if you are in the middle of a deployment and a military spouse and you're just like again your head's going berserk just one less thing that you need to go pick up or anything you can order all that online but these flat rate boxes are my favorite because you can just put as much stuff as you want it can be as heavy and it still is just one flat rate. Now, the prices as of December 2022, a small one, which this is medium one, a small one is about $10 for shipping. The medium is 17 and then the large, which is like that much bigger, is $21. And that is even to like ship all the way to Kuwait or something. So before we can talk about what we are gonna put in our box, let's talk about what we do not want to put in our care package. You do not wanna put anything perishable. While most of the time it takes roughly two weeks for it to get to your service member, you do not know. So nothing perishable. There have been times where I sent something to my husband and it took five weeks, even though it was just like some random week in April. You never know. The other thing to remember when you're thinking about what to go in your care package is that it is very likely that your care package could get looked at by someone not your service member, whether that is a somebody higher in the chain of command, somebody at the post office, they have to check for things. Sometimes there are restrictions on what mail is allowed or is not allowed, so they're gonna make sure those things are. So you wanna make sure that whatever is in there is something that you are okay with a stranger seeing. The other thing to remember with what not to put in is, is do not put valuables. Sometimes packages get lost or damaged. You don't want to put some priceless heirloom or something super expensive in there. Just wait for them to come home. Now let's talk about the fun stuff. What to put in your care package. I think it's super fun when you can decorate the care packages. It's a super simple way to make something festive. Just brighten up your service members day. And this is where our sponsor, C2C with Love, comes in. She is a military spouse with a wonderful shop that creates these flaps to go on the box flaps. So they're just simple stickers. You peel them off and put them on your box really easy. For the contents of your box, think about necessities. They go through socks super fast and sometimes, especially when they're overseas, it's hard to find their favorite brand. So maybe ship them those. 
snacks, their favorite snacks. You can even do homemade cookies and cakes in a jar. I can put some links that I found in Pinterest and I'll put those in the description. You can do games, stationery if you want them to send you a letter, letters from your kids or neighbors or friends, and then pictures. Yes, with social media, we often have pictures just on our phones and can see them, but there is something special about having some printed pictures to touch, to feel, to have in their pockets while they're out in the field and they don't have their phones. It's just a piece of home with them. And if you want other ideas and themes, C2C with Love has amazing blog posts with Valentine's Day themes, colored themes, all themes, all of these amazing stuff that can coordinate with the flaps that you get. Or if you're just wanting to decorate it yourself and get some ideas, go check out her. Again, the link is in the caption. Now, some special tips that I wish I had known before. Number one, make sure you seal every individual thing in an individual bag, just in case something breaks or there is somehow like liquid involved in the box on those shipping crates, especially if you're going overseas, or even just the times I've sent a box to my husband while they're out on an extended field training. It rains, stuff gets on it. So just seal everything individually. Two, make sure you have sturdy packaging. The outside, obviously, post office is going to give you a strong box, but make sure it's stuffed with a lot of paper so things can't get compressed in. Three, make sure you have an accurate shipping address. First and last name, it helps if you put their rank or title and then whatever their full mailing addresses. If you are not sure, please reach out to your SFRG, key spouse, whatever it is for your branch. Reach out to the rear detachment command at your unit and they will have that just to double check. Tip number four, make sure you fill out your custom forms. And if you're like me, it is very, very helpful to do that before you get to the post office. One, it's helpful to do it right as you're packaging things up so you make sure you don't miss anything. Two, if you're taking kids to a post office, it's just one less thing to have to do with all the craziness. And three, if you get the military care package, they'll send you that custom form or it's on the website so you can print it out and just have it all ready to go beforehand. It makes things way easier. Tip five, make sure you're allowing for proper shipping time if it's their birthday or some special event. It normally takes two weeks to get overseas, but especially during Christmas or busier times of the year, it can take upwards up to five. Luckily, the post office has posted these dates for the holidays, so make sure you are referring to those at the holiday time. Then the last tip, if you are considering sending this care package to somebody at boot camp, I would just wait. There's so many different rules depending on the drill sergeants about what can and cannot be received at boot camp. All of their necessities are provided for them, and typically they don't make it through anyways. So I say just send letters, pictures, and then save the care packages for later. If you have any other questions about sending a care package to your service member, go ahead and check out c2cwithlove.com. Or if you have any other questions about deployment or reintegration, check out thewaitingwarriors.com for resources all about those phases. You don't have to do this alone.